So here are, here are some of the deadliest mass killings in recent Canadian history. In case you haven't heard, um, just yet, just so this past weekend, like April 19th, um, they're saying 17 people were killed. Actually, I believe the death toll is about 19 or 20 now. I'd have to check the latest news reports, but um, the nature of that killing, it sounded like the guy was just driving around this Gabriel, 51-year-old Gabriel Wartman was just driving around Nova Scotia shooting at people in several different communities. So, I mean, it t might take a, pol a while for the police to find all the victims of this shooting. My condolences to everyone affected by this. So here are some of the deadliest mass killings in recent Canadian history. April 19, 2020. 17 people are killed after a man who at one point wore a police uniform and drove a mock-up uh, cruiser traveled across northern Nova Scotia. <clears throat> An RCMP officer is among the dead. Police say the suspected shooter, 51-year-old Gabriel Wartman, was killed after being intercepted by officers in Enfield, Nova Scotia. April 10, or sorry, August 10, 2018. A gunman opens fire in Fredericton, New Brunswick, killing two municipal police officers and two civilians. Constable Sarah Burns, Constable Rob Costello, Donnie um, Robichaud, or Robichaud, and Bobby Lee Wright. Matthew Raymond's arrested and charged with four counts of first-degree murder. April 23, 2018. Alec Manassian drives a white van along a crowded Toronto sidewalk, killing 10 people and seriously injuring 16 others. Manassian uh, later admits in court to carrying out the attack in retribution for years of sexual rejection and ridicule by women. He's awaiting trial on 10 counts of first degree murder and 16 of attempted murder. The judges said the case will turn on Manassian's uh, state of mind at the time of the attack, not whether he did it. January 29, 2017. <clears throat> Six people are killed and eight injured when a man goes on a shooting rampage at a Quebec City mosque. University student um, Alexander, Alexandra Bissonette who had taken far-right uh, political positions on social media, pleads guilty. December 29, 2014. In the worst mass shooting in Edmonton, a man suspected of domestic violence shoots and kills six adults and two young children in two different homes. Fu Lam... Then, ki then killed himself in a restaurant where he worked. June 4, 2014. A man uses a semi-automatic rifle to fatally shoot uh, three RCMP officers and wound two others in Moncton, New Brunswick. The rampage by Justin Burke was the deadliest attack on the RCMP since four officers were killed by a gunman in Alberta in 2005. April 15, 2014, Matthew, De Matthew DeGroot kills five people at a house party in Northwest Calgary. A judge in 2016 found DeGroot not criminally responsible for the killings because he was suffering from schizophrenia at the time. March 3rd, 2005, James Roscoe shoots and kills four uh, RCMP officers near uh, Mayor Thorpe, Alberta, before turning the gun on himself. Constables Anthony Gordon, P. 
Peter uh, Scheiman, Leo Johnston, and Brock Myro were ambushed by Roscoe, 46, at Roscoe's farm northwest of Edmonton. April 5th, 1996, angered by his wife's divorce action, Mark Shahal kills her and eight other, eight other members of her family in Vernon, BC, before shooting himself. September 18, 1992, a bomb kills nine strike-breaking strike workers at the giant Yellowknife gold mine in the Northwest Territories. December 6, 1989. A man with a semi-automatic rifle storms into an engineering classroom at the Ecole Polytechnique in Montreal, asks men to leave and then kills 14 women before turning the gun on himself. Gunman Mark Lapine says he was, he was fighting against feminists he blamed for his troubles. September 1st, 1972. An arson attack on a downtown Montreal nightclub kills 37 people and injures 64. Gasoline was spread on the stairway of the Bluebird Cafe and then ignited. Most of the deaths occurred in the Wagon Wheel Country Western Bar upstairs. Three young men from Montreal who had earlier been denied entry for drunkenness were convicted and sentenced to life in prison. So, yep, we've got some very sick puppies in Canada. My heart goes out to all the people that have suffered because of these pieces of garbage. And let's hope the pieces of garbage that have been brought to justice, that they sit in jail to the day they die. And the people that are awaiting trial, let's hope that they get the book thrown at them and are sentenced to death, life in jail with no chance of parole ever. That just goes to show that there's some real garbage human beings in, in our society. Very sickening. <laughs>